All right, so as part of my little Game Changers mini series of me talking a little bit in depth about certain scenes of the movie, I'm going to jump to the one that I'm itching to talk about. And it's the one that I have literally been ranting about so much um, since I saw the movie. And to be honest with you, this, this, this was where the movie lost me, right? Because if you'd watch my my review of it, my little general review, I said that, you know, there was a point, me as a meat eater, going, damn, I might try a plant-based diet, you know. But then what I'm about to talk about is what fucked it up. Now, before I start this shit, I know some of y'all itching, itching, right? I don't care if you follow a plant-based diet. I don't care if you follow a carnivore diet. I don't care if you follow a ketogenic diet. I don't care if you follow, you know, intermittent fasting, fucking paleo. I don't care what you follow, right? If it works for you, if you feel good, right? Do it. I don't care. But there is this massive push regarding plant-based, right? And I'm a believer in... I'm not I'm not suggesting you have to eat meat. I'm a believer in balance, right? And um this documentary Game Changers has confused a lot of people. Confused a lot of people because uh some of my clients are coming and talk to me and they're like, "Ah, oh, plant-based is fantastic and this and that and that." And when I have a proper conversation with them, um they kind of understand. Whoa, okay. Anyway, I'm going off topic. So, let's focus on what the fuck we're talking about. James Wilkes is the uh, the guy that we're, we're following in the movie, right? And um, he had the injury and then he'd done a whole lot of research to find out how to recover quicker and whatever. F uh, found this study on the gladiators. I'll be doing a video on that. And uh, started to look into a plant-based diet. Then he started to follow a plant-based diet. Now, I can't remember how many days it was. I believe it was seven days. It was about a week, if not more. Anyway, point being, after following a plant-based diet for a period of time, my man, James Wilkes, went from having a eight-minute personal best on the battle ropes, yeah, eight-minute personal best, to having 60 minutes personal best on the battle ropes. Now, this is the thing, because I was watching this movie, and then, you know, he said, oh, my um, my performance increased, and, you know, my personal best was eight minutes, and it had increased. I'm looking at this like, oh, shit, eight minutes. I mean, fuck, eight minutes as it, as it is, is fucking incredible. I'm like, what did it increase to? I'm, I'm thinking 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then even in the movie, he's like, oh, it didn't increase 10 minutes, it didn't increase 20 minutes, it didn't increase half an hour, 60 minutes, and I, when he says 60 minutes, I was like, what, 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 no, I'm calling bullshit, you mean to tell me that by having a plant-based diet, an individual was able to do the battle ropes for an hour straight, same intensity, same speed, my man didn't break for any kind of hydration, hydrate motherfucker, no water, none of that shit, he just went, what, no, I'm calling bullshit, like if you told me that, look, I, I, I did something regarding my legs, you know, I walked for an hour, yeah, your legs are built for endurance, but we're talking about like your shoulder joint, your shoulder muscles, your arms, these are all very small muscles and they're not built for endurance. So I'm calling bullshit. Now, furthermore, I've searched for this footage, right? If you indeed did, did uh, if you indeed did the battle rods for an hour, surely, surely you would put that footage up because this guy was filming the battle ropes, right? So surely you would have put that footage up. I mean, fuck, even if I lift 10 kg more than what I normally lift, I put that shit straight on Instagram, straight on Facebook, yeah? And I'm not like an elite athlete by any means. You go from fucking 8 minutes to 60 
you want to film it, right? Furthermore, you already have the footage that should be made available. Can't find it. Cannot find it. Now, you know, fuck how much money they spent uh, making the game changers. You could have just put that footage up and just labeled it. Um, this is possible because of plant-based diet. Guaranteed people would be like, what the fuck? That was able to happen? Fuck it. I'll do plant-based today. Now, I'm going to go to Tesco's and buy a whole load of fruit and veg. Like, the problem with this movie, Game Changers, was they, they, they gave you an idea, they planted a seed. But then, in order for them to kind of win you over, they kept pushing and pushing to the point where they pushed to a certain level where you're like, wait, hold on, this is too good, too good to be true. If that was the case, why is it? Why is it every athlete is not on a plant-based thing? Why is it? Yeah? Can't be telling me that his performance increased that dramatically. And there are not more um, more athletes saying, fuck, I'm going to go to a plant-based diet. Yeah? I'm calling bullshit on the whole thing. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please like, share, subscribe. And as always, train hard, keep it live, and get that dirty pump. And as I said at the beginning of the video, I don't care what you're doing, what you're eating, what your diet's like. If you feel good and you're getting the results that you want, keep doing that shit. See you in the next one.